So, good morning all. Uh, I'm uh, presenting a paper about the influence of farmers, community and networks on Amazonian agriculture green transitions. So this is not a typical regional science paper, it's a psychological model. But in this psychological model, we'll, we'll try, we try to accommodate uh, regional factors, namely the community, the farmers' community, and the, the networks that uh, they are involved in, particularly knowledge uh, networks. So I will uh, first uh, present briefly uh, the main models that uh, were developed to explain uh, the adoption of innovations in a uh, psychological point of view. Or any problem with the sound? Um, so after that, uh, uh, the, the methods, the results, and the contribution of the, the paper. So the, the oldest model from uh, middle 20, 20th century is uh, the expectancy value model. Uh, it's very simple. You, uh, try, uh, you will try to engage in a behavior if you expect that uh, the results are good. So if uh, you perceive the outcomes to be uh, valid by yourself, you'll, you'll develop a, a positive attitude and then you will engage in behavior. This was uh, somehow complexified in the 70s or the 80s by the introduction of the theory of reason action uh, that uh, there are two main differences in these uh, two kinds of models. The first one is the, the role of the intention. So there is no, uh, no direct link between attitude and behavior. The intention mediates this uh, relationship. And it was introduced the uh, uh, social factors. So uh, it, the, it, it is the perceived pressure of your peers, your family, and your reference groups, etc. Then uh, it was uh, even further developed with the, the theory of planned behavior. Uh, the introduction of a, a third factor that is the behavioral control. It, this factor is very important because you may have a positive attitude regarding a behavior. You may feel some pressure to engage in it, but if you don't see that you have self-efficacy, if you, uh, you don't believe that it is feasible, you will not engage in that behavior. So this control uh, is uh, very important and it uh, links not only to the intention, but also directly to the behavior itself. And finally, uh, uh, in the last 20 years or so, it was developed the model of goal direct behavior that uh, uh, introduced a new variable. It's the desire to engage in the behavior. It's more a motivational founding of these, these models. And this desire depends on the attitude, on the subjective norms or social factors, on the control, but also on emotions that were not uh, very well developed in previous models. So uh, our purpose is to uh, apply this uh, model of uh, goal direct behavior, but also to extend it to, to accommodate those factors that I uh, mentioned before. So the core model is this one. The intention that is our dependent variable will be explained by the control and desire. Desire depends on control, attitude, subjective norm, and emotions. And uh, the social norms or the culture of the, the community will have an effect over the subjective norm of the social pressure. And uh, the, the control will depend on the perceived resources. These are two facets of resources, the material ones and uh, the networks that are, I have uh, referred, I've mentioned before. Uh, 
to see w what we are talking about. That these are the, the, the items that measure these uh, three variables. So, the uh, regarding social norm, it's a, a perception of uh, what the community thinks about people that will engage in this behavior. I, 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 I have not mentioned behavior before. Behavior, I, it's the adoption of a sustainable production certification in the fish farming. And um, so these uh, well-regarded, better professionals, et cetera, are the, the perceived, uh, how the fish farmers perceive the community, uh, think about the, the innovators. The material resources are water depth, workforce and the equipment, and the networks are uh, access to extension services, are the belonging or being uh, in farmers' associations, and are the digital communities of practice of uh, these, these farmers. So that two factors that I mentioned in the, in the title of the, the, the paper, is the, the, our uh, research questions, our, our cues are related with this, the, the role of culture and the role of uh, knowledge, knowledge networks related with this, these variables in the bottom of the model. Uh, the field work was uh, done uh, in the second semester of uh, 2019, so we were uh, somehow lucky to do the research before the, <laughs> the pandemic. <laughs> uh, um, and um, the field work was done in this uh, region here, in a particular region of uh, Amazonia, uh, mostly in the, the state of Rondonia. So uh, the, the, the uh, 20, 264 farmers were personally interviewed. Um, the interviews were appointed in um, the farmers' um, events in several cities of the of Trondonia. and then uh, uh, the interviewers uh, made the trips from Porto Velho, that is the, their city, to to those uh, to, to the farms, and uh, eleven trips were made, and in these trips, all these interviews were done. Um, the, 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 the methodology, the quantitative methodology used to uh, estimate the, 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 the results are, uh, is a PLES, structural equation models based on virtual least squares. So before uh, presenting the results, it is, uh, <laughs> uh, it is common to, 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 to assess the measurement model. We have uh, two kinds of measures here. These ones of the resources are what we call formative measures. So uh, the, these uh, latent variables, material resource and networks, are uh, the results of the indicators. Uh, so you can uh, see that these errors are uh, similar to regression coefficients. And uh, the workforce is not significant. So uh, in the material resource, we, are, we, we have to drop the workforce and uh, the water depth and the equipment adds uh, about the same effect. In the case of networks, all the three are significant, but we see that the extension services are much more important than uh, the other two. All the other variables um, are measured in the different way. It's uh, called uh, re reflexive measurement. And uh, in this case, we, what, we, what we, we model is that the, the answers by the, the farmers are reflecting the latent variables. And so what uh, to, to, to assess the, the measurement, we have uh, two kinds of uh, indicators. Uh, this uh, row A is a, a measurement of uh, reliability and uh, uh, all the variables are reliable and this AVE, uh, average variance, variance extracted, is uh, 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 a measurement of uh, convergent validity and uh, also uh, all the variables are 
in this respect uh, valid. So the measurement is valid and reliable, so we can go further to the results. There yeah, are uh, the, all the results, so um, all these coefficients are uh, significant. You can, see, you can uh, uh, treat these like beta coefficients, it's, it's the same thing. Um, and uh, I put the thickness of the arrows uh, uh, um, uh, in the, um, so proportional to the size of the coefficients. And you, you can see here what are the main influence. I have not printed here, but uh, the R square of the intention is uh, 64%, I suppose. Um, and uh, taken the, simplifying the, this picture with the, the most significant, the most uh, uh, the greater coefficients, we can go to uh, this picture here and we, we see that what uh, we were modeling, the role of knowledge networks and the role of culture, uh, are really important factors to explain extension. So explaining these uh, uh, mediator variables, the control and the subjective norm. Both the control and subjective norm are much more important that, than attitudes or emotions in explaining the intention to adopt this certification. Sustainable certification. Uh, regarding this, uh, the resources, the material, the network resources, we uh, did uh, another uh, analysis, the importance performance analysis. So uh, I have, instead of the coefficients, I have put these, these metrics. The performance is uh, simply the mean of the, the variables, of the indicators. In this case, the perceived resources. So you can see that uh, here is the central point of the scale. Above these are more important and, uh, sorry, are more performant and below less performant. And the importance on the uh, um, horizontal axis is uh, uh, estimated by the indirect effect of the resources on the intention. So if you go here, Remember that you, we have here uh, equipment and uh, water depth. We have here the digital communities and, uh, and uh, access to, uh, to extension services, etc. They uh, affect intention uh, indirectly through these two latent variables and the control. So the indirect effects are on the horizontal axis. And you see that the only important variable is the extension services. So this, all the others are not so important. So the conclusions is uh, first uh, that uh, the model is relevant to explain what we are talking about or the, the adoption of this certification, but also that uh, the addition, the, this extension of the model is also relevant to explain this uh, intention to, uh, to adopt the certification. So, because you have, you have seen that uh, both the, uh, the social norms and the control that are affected by what we put existential are much more important that, than attitudes or emotions. Um, access to uh, extension services. Uh, is the most important factor uh, on the resources. So grant access to uh, extensions uh, would increase the feasibility of uh, the adoption, but also social norms are uh, important because uh, farmers that perceive their community to be less, uh, sorry, more keen, uh, keen to uh, uh, adopt will do that. And uh, uh, as a uh, final note, to say that digital communities are uh, important to disseminate some ideas, but are not important to uh, move people to adopt. So, because the, the effect is not, uh, not important. Okay? And these uh, uh, confirm results from a previous study that uh, was a qualitative study based on the uh, the text of message 
uh, that people put in a WhatsApp group that also reveals that the, the belonging to these uh, communities and share information in these communities we will not play a major role on the feasibility of adoptions. So that's all, thank you.